सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द मॉडल ऑफ अ टेट्रा पैक मशीन सो इट इज नॉट दैट ओनली टेट्रा पैक कंपनी इज प्रोड्यूसिंग एसेप्टिक पैकेजिंग मशीन बट इट इज द वर्ल्ड लीडर एंड द मशीन ऑफ टेट्रा पैक कंपनी आर फेमस वर्ल्ड वाइड एंड पॉपुलरली यूज वर्ल्ड वाइड सो वन ऑफ दैट मशीन विद द मॉडल ऑफ दैट मशीन इज टीबीए एट सो सो हेयर यू कैन सी दैट वेरियस पार्ट है इंडिकेटेड अलॉन्ग विद दिस numbering given to you here so in this uh, particular diagram here we can see that this is basically a packing machine we have already studied pouch packing machine which was vertical form fill and seal machine and this machine is not similar to that machine it is much more complicated than that machine and why is it so is because we are required to maintain aseptic conditions during packaging along with aseptic conditions before packaging means the product will be delivered to the machine in a aseptic condition aseptic condition means sterilized state so when the product is sterilized we are required to keep in mind that there should be no break in the safety measures safety measures with respect to microbial quality so we are required to maintain these aseptic conditions all over until and unless the package has been produced second difference is that the packaging material is not so flexible it is still flexible but not so flexible as we are using a quite thicker material and which is a multi laminate so we are having a laminated material which is having multiple layers so handling of that kind of packaging material is a bit more cumbersome then one more difference is there that we are also required to avoid seepage of product into the packaging material because on the edges of the packaging material if the edge touches the product then we can have a condition we can have a chance that product may seep into the package so here yes, you see basically this one this one is the laminated material and here we are seeing various layers so here you are seeing outside there is ldp layer with 12 gsm so gsm means gram per square meter then paper board which is used for printing and this outside ldp layer will be for laminating for waterproofing this paper board then lamination with ldp on other side which is of a thicker quality here you are seeing 25 grams per square meter then aluminium foil which is a light barrier 17 gsm then we are having adhesive polymers so as to have next layer adhere to this aluminium foil so and which is the inside ldp and it is much more thicker than this in between ldp so it is 29 gsm so here we are seeing how many layers so we are having at least six layers so this number of layers it may vary from 5 to 7 and in some cases uh, up to 9 layers also but in the case of this particular example we are having six layers of laminated material each of these layers is having their specific functions which you have already studied in other classes uh, let me focus on to this part back again so here you are seeing that this laminated packaging material this side and another laminated packaging material this side which will be folding together to form a continuous tube in which the product will be filled here we are having this part which can have contact with the product so we are required to seal this end so that we are having avoiding we are avoiding this contact with product so we use this ls strip so this what is ls strip which is longitudinal seal strip so here you can see this purple colored strip here a very thin strip and it is also a polylaminate here you can see this is of three kinds so we can have this kind of lhl ls strip then pp p or pp pw lhl strip or lse lhl strip and these are the constituents of this laminated material in lhl we, we are having ldp hdp ldp then 
in this PP, uh, PPPW and PPP, we are having LDP double layer, then primer, then PET, then primer, then LDP. And this primer is for uh, sticking these two layers together. Then in LSE, again, we are having three layers with two, two primers in between LDP on both sides and in between EVOH. And all these three LSE strips are having their different functions. Here you will be seeing in this particular PDF that what it is having. Now, as we are seeing that this LS strip, it is having only polymers and no uh, material which is absorbent in nature. So, this end or this edge as well as this edge will not be having any uh, absorbent properties so that product may get is absorbed inside. So, product will not get absorbed inside and this LS strip will protect this part of main packaging material and you are seeing that this main packaging material it will be having adhesion of a inner layer with an outer layer so this is outside ldp layer and this is inside ldp layer so outside ldp and inside ldp layer will be getting adhered together to form a continuous tube in which the product will be filled in so this part has to be protect, protected otherwise what will happen this paper board material which is the uh, uh, very heavier or thicker kind will get exposed to the product and product may get seeped into the packaging material and the package may get deformed and other uh, uh, quality defects may occur so this is one more complication in this uh, kind of packaging machine so here here you are seeing this packaging material so this is how there are different several layers are there outer coating printing paper board paper board then lamination so here you are seeing eight layers and here you can see what properties these layers are having and what can progress into the material up till which part and in this in this particular uh, diagram you can see how the packaging material gets printed so this printing process occurs before packing process and it is not a part of packaging material machine but it is a different machine which is used to produce the pre-printed rolls of packaging material so this pre-printed rolls of packaging material will be transferred onto this packaging machine and this is how it gets slitted so we will be having a very wide roll in which several uh, uh, we can say lanes of packets will be printed and those lanes will be slitted into different rolls and rolled again are you getting this students are you able to yes sir. now another complication with these machines is that we are also required to uh, have uh, this easy opening mechanism so we are using a pull tab strip so here you can see this part you you might have also observed in your uh, actual uh, uh, real life that this this part pull tab uh, strip which is used for easy opening and closing reclosing of the packaging material so that the package can be consumed in parts means if you you see that one liter pack of some product then whole one liter pack uh, con content of that product might not get consumed in one go or when the packet is open so that needs to be reused again and again and for that we require some closing mechanism of the package and but we are required to keep that uh, packet in refrigerator after first opening so here you are seeing this pull tab strip it is consisting of two strip one strip from outside another strip from inside so there will be a hole punched inside in the packaging material then this pull tab strip will be applied from both sides and in between this will get sealed together why this is done again due to same reason as uh, LS strip that we are required to protect this part of the main packaging material this paperboard part from getting soaked in the product so this pull tab uh, 
strip is consisting of these two different kind of strips so here you are seeing this aluminium layer and LDP this is the outer layer of a, this pull tab strip so uh, when you are opening this you might have seen in the uh, tetra pack cartons of that fruity that we are having an aluminium circle in which straw is inserted so this is that layer and at the bottom we are having LDP for having a proper seal with the inner strip. So at the inner side we are having LDP on both sides and in between EVUH. So this is LSE kind of strip. So LSE in this case, LSE strip, this was the same. <coughs> So this, in this case, we can have LDP binding with LDP so that to have a strong seal. And on both side of main packaging material, again, we were having LDP. So uh, these parts will also be getting sealed right onto each other. Are you getting this? Yes, sir. So the, this uh, printing method, you can just go through it. Let me just uh, make you be aware of this machine that what is happening in this machine. So this is where the packaging material will be loaded into the machine. Loading of packaging material into the machine means that whatever pre-printed packaging material is there, it will be loaded onto this side. And how it will be loaded is here you are seeing it is a very big kind of rolls. It cannot be lifted with hands. It has to be lifted by a special trolley. So here you can see this number four. So this is a special trolley with the hydraulic lift to handle the packaging material. So as it is very heavy, it is approximately these rolls weigh around 100 to 500 kg in weight. It varies. It depends on uh, the constituents, number of layers, etc. So that kind of weight cannot be handled by bare hands. So And also we are required to maintain sterility and uh, cleanliness of this material itself. Hence, it will be uh, mechanically handled. So for that, we are, use, we are required to use this kind of special trolley. It will be loading this packaging material inside. Then you can see a series of rollers is there. So this series of roller through which this packaging material goes and this series of rollers are guiding the path of packaging material before it enters this product filling area. So here is the product filling area before getting here the packaging material needs to go through a series of process and what is that series of process that series of process is punching that hole for from where the pull tab you, uh, uh, will be pull tab strips will be applied then applying the ls strip then also getting the film sterilized from inside as well as outside because uh, we are required to maintain utmost sterility sterile conditions are required to be maintained for that we use hydrogen peroxide bath so 35 percent hydrogen peroxide solution is used through which the packaging material goes through so it is dipped inside the hydrogen peroxide bath and when the material comes out of that hydrogen peroxide bath it is dried during drying of hydrogen peroxide hydrogen peroxide converts into water and oxygen so that oxygen from hydrogen peroxide serves as a oxidizing agent which will be oxidizing any dust dirt bacteria virus etc if present on the packaging material on any side and will maintain the sterility of the packaging material and then it will as it is a gas evolve away and for water it is dried away by using hot sterile air so whatever we are using in the machine has to be sterilized before use then when the packaging material which has got sterilized then it will be formed into this tube by these forming rollers it will be folded into into this tube form and then this tube form will be then processed further. I will be showing you much more elaborate diagram from this side in the later part of this PDF. You just uh, have a look onto this machine that how this machine looks from various angles. 
so this is the left hand side view this is the right hand side view and both views at once packaging material i have already told you now this is the forming of tube uh, before going on to forming of tube let me also uh, tell one more thing regarding this machine is that two rollers will be loaded at the back of machine to run this machine because as soon as one roller ends it automatically splices means cut away that part of the roll and continues with the next roll so that there is no breakage of operation because if the machine gets stuck up or shut down for a very brief duration then during that brief duration whatever product is coming to the machine has to be recirculated back to the uh, one of the sterilized tank and during that time there will be a loss of sterilized condition because if we are manually splice, splicing the rolls and manually joining the rolls together it will need some time it will need some human intervention and if there is any opening or closing of the machine cabinet from any side this cabinet is closed from back end as well so that it is uh, cut off from the atmosphere so if there is any opening or closing then the sterilized condition or sterility of this machine will be uh, uh, breached and we we are required to re sterilize the machine before re, uh, reusing it so that is why two rolls will be mounted at once and when one roll send another roll take overs automatically and while the uh, another roll is automatically uh, taking over then during that part that uh, duration the roll which has ended that uh, blank can be removed and additional roll can be provided on to that side so there will be two compartments and then uh, that one compartment will be automatically sterilized by this machine during its operation while the roll has uh, after the roll has been uh, uh, loaded on to the machine are you getting this yes sir now coming on to the package forming because this package is not like that sachets or pouch packets but it is having a form of a cuboid or just like a brick so we are using some different kind of forming mechanisms and that different kind of forming mechanisms is like this so here you are seeing that the packaging material is coming and that has been guided through this guide roll so here you are seeing this roller 1 2 3 4 and here th these are the uh, uh, other view of these rollers so this roller 1 this is just letting the film in this vertical direction this roller 2 will be folding here you can see this folding of film has started then in this roller 3 we are having much more folding together then in this roller 4 it, it is much more like a circle then in this roller 5 we are having this vertical seal so after this roller or uh, during uh, during this roller 5 we are having a sealing operation vertical sealing operation going on continuously at this part of this machine so here a tube has been formed after the tube has been formed the roll is again pressed and once more heated to ensure the sealing so this is sealing and resealing so it forms a closed circular kind of pipe then after that it has to be formed into this brick kind of form so it is done after the product has been filled so before forming the brick or cuboid shape here you can see this yellow colored uh, fluid which has been shown to you here this is the product which will be filled inside this pipe or cylindrical shape after it has been filled then this jaws which is loaded with these vices or we can say some arrangements with they will be closing in and forming the shape of cube so here you are seeing that when this jaws have been closed they are not not uh, letting this uh, cylindrical part to remain as such and they have enclosed it into cubical kind of shape or cuboidal kind of shape and here you are seeing this is the heating and cutting mechanism so there are 
टू जॉज शोन टू यू हेयर वन जो ऑन द टॉप अनदर जो ऑन द बॉटम बिकॉज इट इज अ कंटिन्यूस मशीन सो कंटिन्यूसली द जॉज हैव टू वर्क इट इज नॉट ए इंटरमीडियंट मशीन लाइक pouch packaging machine in the case of pouch packaging machine when the product is filling then the film roll stops moving but in this machine when the product is filling or sealing or whatever is happening the roll of film does not stop any time so it is continuously moving the product it is continuously moving the packaging material both at the same time so the sealing operation has to be done during movement means both horizontal and vertical sealing operations are required to be done during movement so vertical sealing which is already done during motion is the same as is in the case of pouch packaging machine but what regarding the case of horizontal sealing we are having these two at least two set of jaws and these set of jaws are synchronized with the speed vertical speed or we can say uh, uh, one direction speed of this packaging material in the vertical direction that at whatever rate whatever meter per second packaging material comes down at that particular speed these jaws also moves from top to bottom and when this jaw will reach this position this jaw opens and then goes to the top position so they are just moving during the packaging operation after the packaging operation has done then it will be cutting off with this knife here you can see so both these jaws are having this sealing and cutting mechanisms in build because at one time one of the jaw will be at the bottom at another time another jaw will come at the bottom so here you are seeing that how this sealing operation work so this is based on induction heating so this induction heating what happens we are having this coil in which current at a high frequency will get introduced so during this current at high frequency the aluminum foil inside the packaging material will have eddy currents flowing through it so when the currents are flowing through this external coil here you are seeing this this green colored parts shown to you here these are this coil and this red colored part shown to you here this is the heating so when this uh, current high frequency current passes through this wire a very rapidly changing magnetic field is produced around it and when the aluminum foil comes in close vicinity due to contact of these wires or this jaws with the packaging material it induces eddy currents eddy currents produces heat and due to that heat ldp layer of the packaging material fuses together to form a tight seal so this is how induction heating is done now this is how folding of flaps is done so here you are seeing that we are having several rollers which work sequentially so uh, one set of roller will be forming a, a very smooth band then another set of roller will further progress the band and uh, so uh, uh, it will produce likewise and finally flaps will be produced and then these flaps can be folded onto itself this is how the drive mechanism works so this, these are uh, uh, mechanical parts of this machine which you can just uh, go through and uh, watch that how these jaws moves during the movement of packaging material so this is the jaw which forms the shape so this is in the open condition this is in the closed condition and these cams will be moving this jaws up and down so it will be riding on this cam unit which will be driven with this belt transmission system these are some of the switches which are just meant for safety and security and this is folder final folder drive system so the, these flaps when they are produced so this kind of packet will be coming out of the machine then this packet will be going through this folder system so it will be folding these flaps so as to form a brick shape otherwise these jaws will be producing these four flat walls so this 
अपसाइड एंड डाउन साइड और वी कैन से फ्लोर एंड सीलिंग ऑफ द पैकेट इज स्टिल रिक्वायर टू बी प्रोड्यूस एंड दैट विल बी प्रोड्यूस बाय दिस फाइनल फोल्डर यूनिट व्हिच विल बी क्रीजिंग दिस एजेस एंड फोल्डिंग दिस एजेस टुगेदर सो हियर यू आर सीइंग दैट प्रोग्रेसिवली दिस एजेस हैव बीन फोल्डेड क्रीज्ड फोल्डेड एंड देन दिस काइंड ऑफ फोल्ड्स विल बी डन and finally these bricks kind of packet will be produced so here you can see that how this folding station wheel is working so here this is loading into this machine then this is the folding at the bottom and here this will be exiting so this is this is showing that how we are having this folding mechanism working so you you just go through this the, the several mechanism have been uh, listed shown in uh, very precise diagrams photographs for you to view and uh, just see this this unit is automatic splicing unit which i told to you that one one rolls end so here you are seeing one of the packaging roll has end this is another roll which is already loaded onto the machine and this splicing roller it will be just uh, cutting this roll and joining this roll with this end of this uh, uh, packaging material and it will be sealing because uh, they they are required to be formed into one continuous one package packaging ma um, uh, material so this is the mechanism of asu which which is means automatic splicing unit so these are steps how uh, these rolls will be ending so here you are seeing this roll has ended and we are having this splicing mechanism here the seal has been done and after sealing so this sealed part now it continues with this roller then this roller this this packaging material will be loaded onto the machine manually uh, by opening compartment one of the compartment which will be then uh, sterilized afterwards so uh, are you having any question or doubt regarding these mechanism of this uh, aseptic packaging machine students can you explain once the pull tab steps pull tab say pull tab pull tab this if you are saying yes sir so uh, here in this this figure this diagram have you seen this side of this uh, of a uh, uh, septically packaged product you might have seen that real juices 1 liter pack have you seen that yes sir so in that packets we are having a opening and closing mechanism on to which a lid is there which is screwed on to this side so when we are having a lid then that lid by opening that we should be able to access the product from the packet so what happens that lid that uh, packaging material will be uh, that uh, lid material will be piercing through this smaller thickness material this side because this thicker packaging material cannot be cut by a plastic knife we require thin materials and material of such a kind that are easy to pierce through so very thin strips two strips are there one which will be placed from outside this is the outside surface and one which will be placed from product side so this this at the underside at the bottom side you can see from the product side so we are required to punch a hole so before filling the product the hole is punched and after the hole is punched we are required to secure this hole so that these sides of this packaging material does not get soaked into the product otherwise the packet will puff the product may leak into the packaging material itself because this is the paper board it has absorbent properties it can absorb the material so to seal these two ends these pull tab strips are applied one from outside one from inside from outside end aluminum foil laminated with ldp is used in which case in this case ldp is on the product side and aluminum is facing the outside of the packet from the bottom side we are having this polylaminate of evoh with primer on both sides and finally ldp on both side so these ldp will be contacting the product and this ldp will be contacting this ldp so that they can be sealed together so this side this part of packaging material gets sealed 
cut off from the product and this uh, uh, less thickness part of this material can be pierced through sharp edges of that uh, opening and closing mechanism of that lid are you getting this now yes sir so you might have seen that fruity packets fruity packets are having this aluminum shining uh, hole is there so that hole is from this part so where we are having lesser thickness 